Danny Sierra for MMAfighting.com. I'm here with Jake Hager, who will be fighting at Bellator 231 against Anthony Garrett. Uh, first of all, Jake, um, a lot was made about your last opponent. There was some criticism involved, uh, you know, about the matchup and all that. But, you know, you're just starting out. You know, you're 2-0 in, in, in the company. Um, do you think the, the critics were a little bit too harsh on, on, on that matchup and in, in, in that fight? Um, I, I didn't hear any critics. All I heard was cheers and me getting my hand raised at the end of it. Uh, it's one of those things where we, we live in a, in a day and age and the information age where people are always going to have an opinion and I can go out there and have the best performance uh, ever and people will still have something negative to say. So really focusing on people that I don't know and what they're saying is, is not the way I operate. Uh, I only care about uh, making my team and my family proud and we did that. Yeah, and didn't mean to start off with a, with a negative tone of this interview, but kind of want to work chronologically. So after the fight, you also had some interesting comments. I believe the quote was uh, you were uh, rock hard with emotion. Um, what what kind of happened there? Because, I mean, I think that's the first ever in, in MMA. <laughs> I'm sure I wasn't the first MMA fighter to get a victory and be rock hard with emotion. Maybe I just have a way with words. You can call me the great American poet. But it's one of those things where you're going to see that more and more in MMA, like the entertainment aspects are going to be blurred. You're seeing that. And that is my moment right there after the fight that I work for, that I get five minutes or whatever, and I get to say whatever I want to say, and I want to grow my brand. And, you know, it's like, if you're not entertaining, people aren't going to, aren't going to want to tune in. So you want to make them feel a certain way. Um, I think that, promo is one of the best in my career because that was real that was raw emotion that's really what i felt in that moment and it, it came across you know to some people as a as a dick but it also came across as somebody who knows what they're doing and um if you look at it back that promo was almost just as big as the fight itself and it's like i mean i almost got two wins that night yeah, certainly uh, a very memorable moment uh, in MMA. Um, have you experienced anything like that in competition? Because, I mean, you, you've wrestled before, right? You had fought before that as well. Um, and, and you had wrestled as well as, as, uh, as far as uh, collegiately, right? Well, I come from Perry, Oklahoma, which is the wrestling capital of the world. We have more wrestling. We have more state championships in any sport of any school of any size in the nation. And that's really something I'm very proud of. And when I was in high school, we would put 13 of 14 guys in the finals of, of the state tournament, of the regional tournament. And people would come out and just boo us because you would have all of us lined up. Yeah, get out of here. Because uh, they would have all of us lined up there for the introductions for the finals, and we were so dominant that people booed us. It was kind of like the Patriots now. And so I learned from a very young age to use that as fuel. I love it. It just makes me stronger. Like, boo me all you want. It's fun. And Anthony Garrett, uh, definitely a step up in competition. I mean, physically looks to be a very solid guy. Also, a lot more experience. I believe he's 4-2 and two in his record. Is this the appropriate step for you next? Yeah, um, I'm very excited about this fight. I'm very excited to take the step up and really showcase what I've improved on. He's a big, tall kid. Uh, definitely going to have some reach on me. And so we're going to go out there and, and, you know, inflict our will on him and continue what we're doing. It's one of those things where people are going to always want something better. But this is, uh, hang on. It's one of those things where... You got to you got to fight where you're at. And this is where I'm at. And we're going to showcase that. I'm not I'm not afraid to show it. For sure. This is this is a pretty important fight for you. I believe you, what, this is your third fight in 2019, right? So, uh, how is the activity wise? I mean, you're, you're pretty active. Uh, is this something that you expected when you started MMA? Like, hey, I got to get in here and, and get fights in quickly. Yeah, not only is this something that I expected uh, when I started MMA, but this is something that I had planned for since I left WWE and really became both a pro wrestler and a professional uh, MMA fighter. Uh, I saw the opportunity for both industries as growing as rapidly as they are to capitalize on it and have a unique opportunity where I can actually do both. Um, this year has been incredible. Uh, we plan on doing three fights this year for sure. Maybe there's one more in, in the works. But right now, it's uh, everything that we planned for has really happened. And I'm, I'm, I'm so happy and so thankful for my team, guys like Josh Rafferty, Rob Radford, Joey Best, who have given me so much of their time in order for me to accomplish something that's so cool.
And uh, it seems the wrestling world, the pro wrestling world, and the MMA, they're, you know, as combined as, as they have ever been. Um, I just want to get your thoughts. It seems, you know, Kim Velasquez has made a lot of waves. Um, and I guess for somebody like me that doesn't really tune in to a lot of pro wrestling, um, how, how good is he actually in, in the pro wrestling? Is, is he as good as everybody is making him out to be? Because it seems, you know, he's, he's climbing up uh, in, in, in that world pretty fast. Well, I mean, you look at it, anybody who has a background or has a name for themselves, they can cross over and they have a easier time of doing it because you already have a following and you bring that with you. Uh, I've known Kane since college. We've wrestled many times in college when he was at Arizona State. I was at Oklahoma. Um, and so he definitely is a hard worker and has the gas tank to go through it. Um, one thing that I realized when I first jumped into pro wrestling is that it's very difficult to make the, the smallest moves in there look real, to make it look good, to do it in a certain way. Um, because it's different from MMA, where MMA, I'm just worried about myself. But in pro wrestling, there's so many different moving parts. There's your opponent, there's a live audience, and there's a referee, and then there's your time constraints, and then there's a storyline that you're trying to accomplish. Um, all that it goes into play with every uh, aspect, and uh, you don't just learn that overnight. It's a, you know, it's something that you have to really have the experience, much like you know, striking in a cage to really get your hands on it. Sure. All right, Jake. Well, best of luck on on Friday, and uh, thank you so much for your time.